In C programming, null pointer is a special type of pointer which is used to avoid many undefined behavior. In this lecture, I will explain what is the null pointer and how we can use the null pointer in our C program. So let's get started. So basically, uh, as you can see the image, null pointer is a point, pointer which points nothing. According to the C standard, an integer constant expression with value 0 or such an expression caused to type white pointer is called a null pointer. Basically, in C programming, we use this macro null to define a null pointer. And if we assign this null macro to any pointer, then pointer become a null pointer. So here PTI is an integer null pointer. And now it's point to nothing. If you are fresh or a beginner and using the null pointer first time in your program, then one question come in your mind that what is the requirement of null pointer in C programming? So let us understand an example to understand what is the requirement of the null pointer in the C programming and why do we need null pointer in our program. So here I have already taken code snippet and here I have declared a integer pointer and PTI is an integer pointer and here I am assigning some value to my pointer PTI using the dereference operator. If you are beginner and don't know how to assign value to a pointer then you can see my first video introduction to the pointer. I, I'll mention the link in description list. And here I try to print the value of PTR. So what will happen when you will compile this code then you will not get any compiler error. And if your compiler is very smart then you will get warning. But if your compiler is not smart then you will also not get any warning here. So what will happen you, when you run this code? The behavior of your program is totally undefined. Might your program work fine and uh, you uh, and you'll get output on console is 12 or might be you get segmentation fault. It's up to your luck. So using the null pointer we can avoid such type of scenario and we can avoid such type of undefined behavior. So let's see another code how we can avoid this undefined behavior using the null pointer. So here you can see that I am assigning a null macro to the pointer PTR and right now this PTR is not a wild pointer because uh, in C programming if you not assign anything to a pointer then that pointer become a wild pointer because due to undefined behavior so after assigning the null to the pointer PTR right now it is not a wild pointer so I have already mentioned a comment here no more wild pointer now what happened the behavior of the null pointer is totally defined by the standard and standard explain if you try to uh, access null pointer then definitely you will get a segmentation fault I have already mentioned here if you try to dereference de the null pointer you will get a segmentation fault so behavior is totally defined and also what you can do before accessing a pointer it is very good habit to verify the null pointer so because I have already assigned a null here and here before uh, accessing the pointer what I am doing using the if condition I am verifying my pointer so somehow if I forget to assign any valid memory then this condition will be always skip because right now in the beginning I have already assigned a null pointer so right now it is pointing to the null if I forget the assigned memory then this statement will be skip and uh, I will not get any undefined behavior and also I will not get any segmentation fault here so this is the basic uh, application uh, of null pointer in the C programming and that is why uh, you have seen a lot of places at the time of pointer declaration 
people assign a null point so i hope you able to understand why we uh, why do we need to use null pointer in the c program let's see some important points related to the null pointer and after that i will explain some uses of null pointer in the c programming so here you can see that i have mentioned uh, some points related to the null pointer so the first point is saying that uh, if we assign zero to any pointer then this zero treat as a null pointer and it's also explained by the standard that zero is also null pointer but it is recommended to use a, a null macro beside using the zero but yes if you are using zero then definitely uh, it's behave like a null pointer the second important points related to the null pointer is if you try to access a null pointer then you will get a segmentation fault so here PTR is a null pointer and if you try to access this PTR using the dereference operator then definitely you will get a segmentation so let's see a third point third point is very important and a very small point that if a pointer of type t t could be like a primitive data type or any user defined data type like int char struct or anything and if you assign a null to that data type pointer then this ptr become a null pointer of that type you can also read this statement if you want but basically uh, thing is that here if you assign null to the PTR, then it become integer null pointer. And here PCHR become a character null pointer. The fourth important points related to the null pointer is that if you have two pointer and one is null pointer and second point is pointing to any function or object. And if you try to compare these two pointer, then comparison shall be unequal but this is not true for the uninitialized pointer so let's see any small program to understand this concept because it is very important so here you can see that uh, i have already written a program here my ptr1 is an integer null pointer and here ptr2 is another integer pointer which is pointing to the this data variable and here I have put a condition that if this two pointer is not equal then printing this statement and if it is equal then printing this statement. As I have mentioned that if your pointer is a null pointer and another pointer is pointing to some object or function then comparison of these two pointers shall be unequal. So let's uh, build and run this program to understand this. Uh, you can see the message we are not equal because here ptr and ptr2 is not equal to each other but what will happen if we not uninitialize this pointer ptr2 like i just removed this one so in that scenario uh, c standard does not give any guarantee that they are equal or not so let's again build and run to see the behavior I'm again getting the same message but it is not a guarantee it might be equal or not might be if I run this program 10 20 times I'll get the message like they are equal I think uh, you able to understand this point what I want to explain uh, let's move toward the six important points the six point explain that if you try to compare two null pointers of different type then they always be equal means that if you compare the integer null pointer to the character null pointer then still they are equal let also a small program to understand this concept here in the example you can see that i have created an integer pointer and assigning a null so ptr ptr1 become here integer null pointer and here i have taken another character pointer and i'm also assigning its a null macro then here ptr2 become a character null pointer so c standard uh, explain that if we compare this two pointer of different type then they always be equal so let's compile and run this code so here i am going to take an option builder run 
here you can see an message we are equal so always this pointer will be equal so these points are very small but very informative points now let's move toward another topic what is the usage of null pointer in the c programming in this slide i have mentioned some important uses of null pointer in the c programming so first uses of null pointer to avoid the wild pointer in the c programming if you declare a pointer and not assigning any valid memory then pointer become an wild pointer so null pointer prevents to generate a wild pointer in your program the second important point is that if you have worked on memory management function like malloc calloc and realloc then you have learned that this function return a dynamic memory and if they are not capable to allocate any memory then they return a null pointer and we know that the behavior of null point is defined and you will get the segmentation fault so here using the null pointer uh, you can avoid such type of unwanted crash so you can see here a code snippet what i am doing here i am creating a pointer pi data and allocating some dynamic memory to the pi data and if somehow malloc function is not able to allocate the memory then right now pi data is a null pointer because malloc return null and here using the null pointer i am handling this situation and if able to allocate the memory then after the uses i am allocating the allocated memory so here it is also one application uses of null pointer and you have found such type of code in many places in your project so now move to the third point it is very dangerous to use the deallocated or free memory in the programming and the behavior of this type of pointers is undefined and it is called as dangling pointers so uh, here i have mentioned a statement if you want you can pause the video and read this and basically in this statement what i want to explain somehow uh, in your programming you are using a, a dynamic memory function to allocate a dynamic memory and after the uses uh, you just deallocate that memory using the free function but what happens suppose that this point is a global pointer and it's also using in some another function so what will happen after deallocating the memory this pointer is still pointing that uh, block of memory but it is not available so in that scenario if you try to access the pointer then behavior is totally undefined and you cannot predict the result so it is very good habit that after the deallocating the memory you just need to uh, initialize the pointer with null so what will happen this pointer is right now become a null point and behavior is totally defined that if you try to access it and then you'll get the segmentation fault and also uh, in the beginning i have explained that you always validate the pointer before its uses so if you have put a condition to validate a null pointer then definitely you will not get any segmentation fault also because it is very important uh, issue so i just want to explain it using the pen and copy so let's see uh, to explain this point i am taking an example suppose here uh, are two files a.c and b.c and you are creating a global pointer here like point is that in this file integer pointer and what will happen in the a.c file uh, you are allocating some block of memory using the malloc function so ptr equals to malloc some memory so what will happen a block of memory will be reserved for ptr pointer and this memory is reserved for ptr pointer and you can use this memory 
in your program and also ptr is using this file also here also ptr is using somewhere so what happened after the using you just deallocate the ptr pointer using the free function so what will happen this memory is right now not available for this ptr but still ptr is pointing this memory so what will happen if in this file if you try to access uh, this ptr then the behavior will totally undefined either you'll get the segmentation fault either you'll get a proper result so to avoid such type of situation what uh, we need to do after the calling the free function we always assign ptr a null pointer because the behavior of null pointer is totally defined and because in this file i have already put a condition that i only access this function if it is not equal to null so because here in this file after calling the free function i am assigning a null so this block of statement will not execute and also i will not get any segmentation fault or also i will not get any undefined behavior so this is the common uses of null pointer and if you have work on any project then you definitely see in this type of situation so now let's move toward the next point uh next point is very uh, common point and if you have worked on any library function then definitely you have faced uh, such type of situation like if you work on the linux then you find that at the time of thread, thread creation we are passing a null pointer as a parameter so what will happen if you don't want to pass anything in a function then to fulfill the condition we just pass a null pointer uh, if you want you can pause the video and read this statements and the last point is that in many function null pointer is used an either value and the termination condition if you have work on the linked list and data structure then definitely you familiar with the importance of null pointer so friends in this lecture i tried to cover many things related to the null pointer but if you have any suggestion then also most welcome and if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and support me and also share my video uh, with your friends and colleagues so thank you guys